Tonight, four children are with the Department of Child and Family Services, and two women are in custody after an Amber Alert was peacefully resolved. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bob Evans. Kelly is off tonight. Fox 13 News reporter Brian Schneed joins us live from South Salt Lake Police Headquarters with how law enforcement was able to quickly locate the people involved. Brian. South Salt Lake Police put out some information Wednesday morning on social media looking for two suspects that are accused of taking four children violating a court order. Now, according to law enforcement, one of the things that they were most concerned about was a text message that the mother sent to a social worker saying that the children were killed or were going to be killed. Pay attention to people involved in an Amber Alert. People involved in an Amber Alert out of South Salt Lake. Multiple law enforcement agencies were trying to locate two vehicles believed to be driven by Yanelli Murillo and her mother, Maria Murillo. According to South Salt Lake Police, the two women did not turn over two of the four children to the Division of Child and Family Services after the department was awarded custody during a virtual hearing. We are so relieved and so thrilled that we've located the children, but there's a lot of work still left to uh, no. be done. Within 90 minutes of an Amber Alert being issued. It does work quickly. It, it, it reaches a lot of people in a short amount of time. The two suspects and children were found at a home in West Valley City. I would say that they, they saw this. I think there was a, a, some pressure with it hitting the media and a lot of people. I, I, I don't know the status of the investigation, but yes, it was it was kind of that we see that there's this going on and, and there's a lot of people that know about it and we need to come up with a way to surrender and turn ourselves in. Croyle says there was a slight delay in using the Amber Alert system, but it was because of the safeguards in place. We don't want that system to be overused and it is a really an important program, but Again, those, those guidelines are pretty strict in what those requirements are, and we felt like all four of the children were endangered, and we just had to work through that through the investigation. Whether it was the alert itself, a strong push on social media, or a significant push from local media, all four children were found safe, and the two suspects were taken into police custody. As far as recoveries go and, and finding the children, it's been extremely successful. Now, you know, whether that's due... Uh, you know, contributed right, you know, specifically to, hey, I saw an Amber Alert, then I saw the car or, you know, or, or just good police work or a combination of both. But usually when this, you know, when the Amber Alert goes out, it's it's highly successful that, that the ch child is recovered, whether as a direct or indirect result of the Amber Alert. Seven Amber Alerts in Utah in 2020, eight in 2021, and now three already this year in 2022. All of them unique, but serving the same purpose of getting those children back safely. Now, in terms of the two suspects from the incident that took place today, we're told that the charges they could face stem from abduction, kidnapping, to violating a court order. Live in South Salt Lake tonight, Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah.